So as you guys know, Cortez and Palace have been having a bit of a beef on social media. Um, Cortez decided to get into the comments on here on Twitter regarding Palace's drop of this particular Brazil inspired tracksuit. Now, on the face of it, to me, in my opinion, um, let me just tell you the overview. So uh, Palace posted this picture of this um, Brazil um, national kit inspired tracksuit that they were dropping. Um, it was posted on the Versus account and then Clint who's the founder of Cortez, quoted it and said, gringo safado, right? Taking the piss, blah, 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 blah. And obviously, when he t when I saw the tracksuit, like, honestly, when I just saw it itself separately, I didn't think of Cortez, I'm not going to lie. I immediately thought, oh, what a genius idea. To take that kit and turn it into a tracksuit is brilliant. Because I don't even think now, I don't, back in the day, back in the day, that was a thing. When Nike would make kits, the tracksuits look kind of similar. Now there's, I feel like, training kits are not similar to like the kits themselves, which is quite cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think of the first thing that comes to mind is that like Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have some really amazing training kits and really cool jerseys that the match day kits that the, the players wear. But I thought the idea of taking a very iconic kit, obviously the one that we know R9 for, especially with the iconic um, haircut from that particular World Cup, um, to turn that into a tracksuit is a real genius idea. And they've got it available in the black, They've also got it available in the in you know black blue. I think no the the, the home and away colors was the black was the yellow and the blue, and then the additional colors that they added is this black and white and this sort of like gray and green color. So I actually liked it. I thought it looked pretty cool. If anything, I thought the the pictures here that features um what's his name Lucian Clark, the professional skater that was also part of the Palace team. The first thing I thought about was like oh shit, what's happened to Lucian? He looks pretty. He looks pretty. You know, he looks pretty um fucked. Because I thought, shit, he's wearing a headband and his head is too skinny for the headband. So I was wondering, like, what's what's going on? Or has he just always been this way? I don't, I don't know, because I haven't seen his face in a long time. I don't really keep up to date too much with what Palace is doing or what he's doing, even though I think I saw a pair of shoes he put out recently that looked pretty sick for DC. But the first thing I thought when I saw this picture, I was like, shit, well, how's his head too skinny for a headband? But maybe I thought, hold on, maybe I've got a really abnormal sized big head. I don't know. Either way, the tracksuit is fucking hard. I think so, personally. Um, it's got a little flip of the Brazil logo here with Palace. It's got the Palace number nine there, obviously of R9. So again, I think as a design concept idea, expert, you know, excellent execution, taking a match day kit and turning it into a tracksuit, amazing. But then, of course, when I saw when I saw Clint post what he posted, it made me think, oh... Because he's known for doing loads of like Brazil inspired pieces for his brand Cortez, it makes sense why he would think this was jacked or this was kind of like a copy thing because that's what he does, right? And he's obviously, his brand's known for doing really cool tracksuits in general, but mostly I'd say for that Brazil thing because he kind of goes out there a lot and he seems like he kind of loves the country, the players. M maybe it's more to do with the football side of things, but it seems like he loves the country and shit. Maybe he speaks a bit of Portuguese, I don't really know. But this kind of turned into a little bit of a beef. And obviously, because I, you know, I'm a bit biased in this because I fucking hate Palace and everything about it. So obviously, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. But it was also a bit like, really? You know, let's be real. It's a, it's a fucking tracksuit. It's not that deep. And if anything, like I said, I think the Palace one is designed in a way where I don't think I would ever mistaken it for Cortez. And the thing that Cortez do, I don't think Palace would ever make. You know, I think even though they, they're kind of, you kind of occupy the same space streetwear type of thing i think they both do very different things in a way i think palace's version of streetwear is kind of done through a very white lens and i think you know clint's cortese is done through a very black lens in a way i think so i don't think there's anything wrong with it i think it's quite good that they're coexisting and doing a thing if anything it's probably a compliment to cortese that people maybe see his brand the same way they see palace because palace has been doing they've been around for ages so to be seen in that same sort of light or to or to even could be compared to them it's probably a lot of like you know it should probably be a good thing because it shows that you're kind of doing bits and going places anyway that's what happened to start the beef and obviously to escalate it um cortez decided to put out their own flip on that particular brazil inspired tracksuit and they did their own version this is courtesy of the official account I think it's probably sold out by now because they're usually the only like couple of day drops, right? So the caption says, Brazil Olympic Shaku reload, Friday 11, London time, ships within one working day, free worldwide shipping, code gringo v gringo, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, obviously, you've got their Gautiz Reels of the World. And what they did, which is quite funny and quite cool, is I guess they photoshopped Lucian's head 
onto a model wearing their tracksuit that they've designed, the Brazil inspired tracksuit, um, which maybe is might be inspired by an actual Brazil training tracksuit. And they've obviously did the flip on that and put that out there available to purchase. And if, maybe there's a headband there too. Oh, I didn't realize even the headband has got the Cortese branding on it too. So a really good Photoshop job. We got the people that are involved there by putting Lucian's head on that particular tracksuit, which is quite nice as well in its own regard. I still think the Palace one's nicer. If I was going to be objective, even though I'm biased and I hate Palace, I would say the Palace one's still nicer, I think, than what they've done. But I still think they offer different things. So I'm not bad at either one. It comes with a different track top. You've got one in black and grey, and you've also got one available in white and black um, with the matching Cortese pants. But the thing that I love the most is the T-shirt. Taking that tri logo thing and just playing Cortese on it is chef's kiss. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I love it. The really mad thing about it though is that i think um what's that count i think it might be in a stay grounded had found a post of um the guy clint who founded uh cortese making a very um glowing tribute to the person who founded palace so as much as smoke as he's talking about palace it seemed like there was a time where he was kind of you know glor you know idolizing and kind of fanning out on what palace do and shit so this is a post there as you can see him kind of you know palace apparently a tracksuit design and he posted that in 2016 so there was a time where clinton was really kind of idolizing and looking up at palace but now of course you know things have kind of changed and he's doing his own thing now at the moment so big up big up big up big up what he's doing i have to say overall i think streetwear beef in general is really lame i'm not gonna lie i'm with it just to kind of banter and look for it from the outside in but i think this whole like this whole tendency people have to kind of hold on to ideas and think that they're the only ones that can do certain things and tracksuits are my thing. You can't do this thing. Brazil things might. It's like, I find the whole thing fucking lame and really, really redacted in my personal opinion. I think no new, there's no new idea under the sun. This kit has been inspired. This tracksuit has been inspired by an iconic kit. The iconic kit was inspired by something else. You're meant to take whatever's been made previously and reinterpret it. Um, there's that famous saying of, you know, copying basically until you find an original idea. And that's how most creativity is born from anywhere. I know for me, when I was studying art and shit back in the day, most of the time you would just be copying, you know, famous artworks and just kind of doing your interpretation of it until you eventually found your own way, until you eventually found your own practice. And that's what happens with fashion as well. There's very few people who are able to come about who have completely original ideas and are able to kind of, you know, manifest those and put those out into the universe without any kind of, you know, input from anywhere else. And even then you can't say that because you never know how, you know, things that you've watched, um, even in passing are going to influence the things that you've done. So, there is no kind of claim onto these ideas and shit and there is no kind of oh no sharing the codes or whatnot or just being influenced by other things so if anything i think this is good for the customer because what you get in the end of it is you get two brands competing at that level to make the hardest tracksuits out and if you're into that sort of piece of clothing you're always going to get really hard stuff regardless regardless if the founders themselves don't see to eye to eye with themselves you know what i mean i think that's a good thing personally going forward because there was a time where you know uk streetwear was kind of dead you know bless benjar and shit but there was a time when people were having to wear benjar and trap star do you remember that do you remember that fucking garbage right but bless those people that found them because they're you know black dudes doing their thing but you know bless that we don't have to wear we don't have to fuck fuck having to wear thank god you don't have to see people on the streets wearing benjar and trap star bits because that sort of stuff used to make my eyes bleed you know the logo the designs how gaudy it looked like it was like it was literally like if it felt like they were making a version of like armani exchange streetwear those two brands in particular now at least we have up, up and coming brands doing their thing um that are kind of making pieces that you actually want to wear you actually want to back um you actually want to kind of be proud of to kind of you know put out there on your fucking feed and shit so i'm all for it i'm all for it i love it um i'm i'm, I'm thankful that they're beefing because they're going to bring the best out of each other and hopefully the customers that like these type of tracks are going to get a lot out of it also but if i had to be honest even though i like cortez i like clint i like what he's doing i think the palace one's better just the idea of taking a a match day kit and turning it into a tracksuit that's genius and i'm sure don't be surprised if in the later season of Cortez they do something similar they'll take an iconic because could, could you imagine 
that iconic um or maybe euro 2002 croatia kit like could you imagine taking a croatia nike kit and change and take and making that into a tracksuit or taking the infamous what i've always wanted to make the infamous chile um jersey from like i forgot what work it was a world cup where marcelo salas played imagine this this particular jersey i've always loved this jersey this jersey i think was that from 98 world cup imagine taking that particular jersey design and flipping it into a tracksuit with the Reebok sort of um, watch it logo right up in the shoulder, the big color blocking with the blue collars and the um, what you call it, um, the blue edges here on the on the sleeves. Imagine this with white pants with like a blue strip at the end or the inner fire like that would look so fucking hard. Like it would look really fucking good. So you know, um, I think for the for the accusations of copying that fucking Cortez has put out there regarding um, Palace. I think weirdly enough, a lot of brands, Cortez included, are probably going to end up copying what they did with this particular design and doing their own little flips with their own little logos. You know, you could do this. You could do it with Dortmund, right? Borussia Dortmund had the same kit, right? That loads of people would fucking love. Borussia Dortmund have a kit. I think it's from, is it the 90s kit? You could take that and make that into a tracksuit. That'll look fucking sick. Like all of these things. These will look fucking cool if you turn these into tracksuits. So yeah, big up Palace for inadvertently, inadvertently feeding the streets in a way. Inadvertently feeding the streets. But I would love to know what's happening with fucking Lucian. Maybe he was sick to be fair. So I don't want to go I don't want to go too deep into it. Maybe he was ill and I don't know nothing about it, but bloody hell, bro. Like from time a headband doesn't fit your head. Like why one? Or maybe or maybe it's the lining. Maybe the lining is kind of maybe it does fit his head and it's really padded and I can't see. But it looks like he can't the the, the headband can't even stay on his head. That's a madness. But the jersey is fucking fire. The tray, the tracksuit is fucking fire. I can't even lie on that one. So big up them. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up them.